Well, here we are. Hello and a very warm welcome. Round 22 and the season finale. Wow. Travelled all around the world and it comes down to the last race. As we go level on points into round 22. And who is going to come out on top in this epic season? This could be a long preview. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. We're probably going to bring the preview out on Tuesday. Something a bit different. Um, wow. Like, we've been around so many countries, so many continents. And it comes down to the last race. One race. And basically, whoever finishes ahead is champion. What we saw in Saudi, Will Max... Just take him out. Will he do it? Um, uh, there's so many things I need to get. Got my camera in the wrong place, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll just carry on. Um, yeah. Will he take him out? There's so many. Um, of course, the main story is the championship battle. Who's going to be the champion in 2021? But we also have Kimi Raikkonen retiring. Antonio Giovinazzi's last Grand Prix. George Russell, Valtteri Bottas, their last Grand Prix till they switched teams. So there's a lot of up and downs and there will be a bit of emotion. Of course, the main story is the title, but don't forget Abu Dhabi has had circuit changes. They've taken out the chicane. We now go straight on and then... They've took out another chicane and it's almost like a semicircle in the second sector. We all know Brazil should be the last race. Abu Dhabi is probably a track that should be off the calendar. But these circuit changes will surely benefit the racing. Yeah. It's got to be a positive. Taking out the chicanes, um, yeah, it's got to be positive. Basically, I am going to be a nerve. I'm going to be so nervous all weekend. This is going to be a Brazil 2008 where I'm not going to enjoy the race whatsoever. It's all or nothing. I pray. I'm praying Lewis can win. This is what you like as a fan. You live every good moment, every heartbreak. Same for Max fans, and it's the same for Lewis fans. As a Lewis fan, we've lost titles. We've won titles. I don't know what's happening. We've we've lost a title in 07. We've lost one in 16. But then we've won seven times. Ugh. Lewis is basically 21 points behind. He's won the last three races. And we're level on points. Um, yeah. And I, I have no clue what's going to happen. I really, after Saudi, will Max take him out? If Max just takes him out, he's the champion because he's won more races. Will he do it? This is the big question. If he takes them both out the race, Max will be champion. No matter whether he gets a penalty, um, yeah, like penalty, it's not going to matter, is it? Because they're not going to disqualify him from the championship. Mercedes have basically got the constructors in the bag. Ferrari are guaranteed third and Alpine are guaranteed fifth. Giovinazzi's last race scored points at Saudi. Hopefully he can score points at Abu Dhabi. And Kimi Raikkonen, let's hope he can get a, some points as well. His final race, a sad day for Formula 1. Yeah, Um F1 will probably put some on for Kimmy and Kimmy will be like, why Why you make all this fuss? I, I, I just want to drive. Um, yeah. That'll probably go under the radar that Kimmy Raikkonen's retiring because the title battle's still on. 21 rounds and it comes down to the final round. I, honestly, what is going to happen? Will Max take Lewis out and win his first title? Will Lewis become an F1 great, arguably the greatest of all time, as he will be an eight-time champion? 
we live every moment. I, 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 if Lewis wins, I cannot wait to see that smug twat Christian Horner. Um, oh. But like I say, if Max wins the championship, I'll be coming on here and congratulating him. Lewis wins, I'll probably, honestly, I don't know how I'll react, but I'll probably be emotional, to be honest. Um, yeah, I was emotional last last time he won it, so you know, you're a fan. It's like following a football team. You live and breathe every moment. Of course, they're driving the car, but it, it's genuinely could be carnage again. It could be chaos. Saudi was chaos. Will the teammates play a role? Max may not take Lewis out, Perez. But then people saying Bottas will take Max out, Perez will take Hamilton out. They don't get close to Max and Lewis. Max and Lewis are in a different league. Max and Lewis will be 1-2 if there's no contact. 100%. Um, yeah, Bottas, Perez, they, they're not good enough to lace Max and Lewis's boots. Let's be real. If it's a straight fight, it will be between them two. Think about how many times they finish 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, one, two. So if Max win, whoever come, Max wins, like Max ahead, he's champion. Lewis ahead, he's champion. Um, Max takes Lewis out, he's champion. Lewis DNF is curtains. So there's a lot of... It's tense, it's tense, it's nervous. I'm really nervous. I really... I hope Max does not take him out, but... After what I saw at Saudi, I would not be surprised if he does it. Yeah. Saudi basically said Max will do anything to win this championship. So, I guarantee if Lewis... Say they're 1-2 on the grid... Lewis gets into the lead. Don't ex don't be surprised if Max T bones him at the new the new layout at the turn six where instead of going right left you go straight on down in to the long straight. Oh my god, it's tense. It's tense. Twenty two races and we were like the twenty second round. We still don't know who's champion. One thing we can say is Max Lewis, they've been different league. Red Bull deserve huge credit for giving us a title fight, the first one we've had in seven years, a proper fight between two teams. It's been an exceptional season, and let's hope we have an exceptional race and the best man wins. It will be sad and a sour note if it ends in contact. We've seen it in the past. Senna, Prost, Schumacher, Hill, Schumacher, Villeneuve. Will it happen again? This season, no matter who you support, will go down in F1 history. And the best man will have to win. Comment down below your thoughts. Who's going to be champion? And also, we must remember Kimi Raikkonen. I'll be doing a Kimi Raikkonen video. Um, yeah. Keep... Keep your eyes pinned on the channel. Of course, we cover F1 daily, but we'll be building up. Of course, we do a preview on Tuesday. We'll get a track guide out there. We'll get um, some... Just It's going to be action-packed this week. I'm buzzing, and it's the title decider in Abu Dhabi, and I'm pumped. So videos are going to be coming out left, right, and center. Practice one, two, three, quali, the race driver ratings Sunday we will know who will be champion I think the race starts at 1 o'clock yeah so Valtteri Bottas's last race can he end it on a high George Russell's last race it's it's like interesting Kimi Raikkonen retires Giovinazzi's last race so we've got a bit of up and down um Exciting, exciting times, oh my god. I can't imagine what Lewis and Max are going through, like, they must be nervous. Is it, a, is it a key factor that Lewis has been there, done it? 
Saudi as well, Lewis was avoiding the contact. If Max really wants to take him out, he he's going to have to do it properly, isn't he? But the thing is, like, that is a big factor. Max can take him out. He may get a penalty for it. He may get disqualified from the race, but they're not going to disqualify him from the championship. So technically, if he takes out Lewis and Lewis and Max DNF, then who cares if Max gets a penalty because he's going to be champion. There's so many unknowns. Oh. And the anticipation, we've got a couple of days to wait. Oh. It's going to be spectacular. Abu Dhabi, title showdown. I kind of wish we were going to Brazil for a title showdown. Max did win here last year. I would much rather see Max uh, win the championship fair and square. If he goes out, sticks it on pole position, wins the race fair and square, then we come on here and we say congratulations, Max. You've been the better man. If he wipes him out and he wins the championship, we come on here and congratulate him. But we will be saying, desperation, you didn't... You you couldn't win it fair and square. <sighs> it's unknown. And I've got to say, it's a bit disappointing. As good as the fight has been this season, it's very disappointing to see how toxic F1 fans are against each other. Like, no matter who you support, F1 fans should come together. This is one of the best seasons in years. And we still didn't know who was going to be champion. I cannot wait for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I'm nervous. I'm tense. I'm anxious. It's going to be... 2008, Brazil was bad. This is going to be a hundred times worse. I, I'm up. I'm shouting. I'm... It, it can't just be me who does that. I'm basically shouting at the TV and all, all this. Like, I, I get into it. I can't help it. Comment down below your thoughts on Abu Dhabi. I would love to know who's going to be champion. <laughs> Jesus, this is going to be intense. Oh, my. Oh, my.